Hey everybody, DeLongShot Signatures here. This is episode 141 of my TTM Returns. Got in three successes on this Friday. Uh, we're going to start off with a NASCAR return. I actually got two of those, but I'm going to save the other one for last. Uh, this is a two of two success, adding to my 1994 Max set of Loy Allen. So, signed both of these. Took a few months, but came out really nice. Nice to add those for the set. And then we got my first uh, college football player success of this season. Um, I did send out a few of uh, the Bowman University trading cards that I bought um, now that the uh, season's approaching. And I have been, I started yesterday sending out a whole bunch of photos, um, sent out some more today, and I got the last bit of it going out tomorrow. Uh, so we'll see how many more we're able to get this year. But first one is a 2 of 2 success coming back from Utah tight end Dalton Kincaid. This was sent to the university. I know some people have been able to find... Dropped it. Uh, I know some people have been able to find home addresses for these guys. I've tried out a couple. Uh, nothing back as of yet. So I think that just leaves me with three players from the set so far. Um, and two were for, from uh, NFL teams. Um, but cool to get. An active college player. We'll see where he ends up uh, should he uh, de decide to pursue the NFL. I believe he will. Um, he was really productive last season. He was really productive in the FCS as well. So um, I believe he got an NFL Combine uh, invite last year, but declined to return for one more season at Utah. And then last one, like I said, is a NASCAR return. This is a Cup Series crew chief finally adding him to the collection. So got a two of two with three signatures from uh, 2311 crew chief Robert Booty Barker. So he is there on the right in the wheelchair. Um, and so he's a pretty inspirational story. Uh, he, first off, his nickname is Booty and it's for exactly the reason you think it is. Um, Back in high school, he played football, and apparently that was the nickname he received because of how his posterior looked in his pants. Um, again, that's what I read. I can't confirm that for sure. Uh, but in his senior year, I think it was, um, he was in a car accident and was unfortunately paralyzed from the waist down. Uh, he didn't really have much interest in motorsports to begin with. But, you know, with that, you know, life-changing event and everything, uh, it changed his focus when he went to college. And uh, I think he, he studied something for engineering or something like that. Um, but eventually he found his way into NASCAR and has been a crew chief for quite a while. Uh, he used to do segments um, on the Speed TV channel with uh, NASCAR Race Day and everything like that. He was out of NASCAR for a little bit, but was brought back last season to be the crew chief for Bubba Wallace, who he is still working with. Um, he earned his first win uh, in the Cup Series alongside Bubba Wallace at Talladega. I think that race got shortened last year. Um, but uh, So it was cool to see him do that. And then he returned the other photo, and it looks like he had Bubba Wallace sign that as well. I guess uh, Bubba has changed his signature to more so reflect uh, his nickname rather than um, his uh, given name, Daryl. Uh, but still really, really cool to add that. They, I don't think 2311 has posted their race address online uh, for fan mail and everything. I think they're trying to secure a different building uh, going forward. Um, so I had to do quite a bit of research to find this, and I wasn't sure if it was going to work, but it looks like it's a good address, at least for this season. I don't know about future seasons. But uh, I think that brings me to 28 full-time NASCAR crew chiefs uh, in the Cup Series. I have a few in the lower series as well, so really, really glad to get that return. But thank you guys for watching. Uh, greatly appreciate it. Helps me out a lot. Best luck with your guys' collecting. Take care.